Where are we going? We're about to go movies or not? Do not take your kids to watch this movie! I like magic. What the fuck did we just watch? Half of the fucking movie is about the Joker. Uh huh? But uh, but yeah, it's a decent movie. Alright, the sheep of water. Loku. Thoughts? Oh, man. Well, like, the, honestly, it ain't even curious, you know what I'm saying? It's creepy? It yeah, it's mostly like not funny. I'll be like. <laughs> That was funny part. Chica, you don't even you don't even know each other. Like, <laughs> in between, you were doing the same thing. Did, was, did it creep you out? Was yeah, it more? It was, was, she was ready though. With the towel, she was naked. <laughs> she was ready for the blue guy. <laughs> she was, uh, she in love. I took him out, bust him out. Did you feel? Did you feel bad for the monster? Were you rooting for him? Or you were like, eh, let's see what happens. No, I was just like, whoa, like the girl got shot too. Yeah. Like, Damn. You were crazy. You <laughs> was like with the guy, not the girl. Did you, have, did you have fun or were you like, eh, it's okay? Yeah, I had fun with me. Yeah, it was really fun. What would you give it out of 10? I give it like a... Uh, I give it a 7. Maybe seven? it's a little bit weird. Yeah. Maybe but it was good. And I got some chicken wings there. It's the most delicious sips. So... Great restaurant. Loku thought it was okay. Great bar. Look, yeah. I personally think it was a beautiful film. I was cheering for uh, 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 a Lila. Or does that... Fuck, I can't get... We got lucky. Uh, the, the main lady, the main actress. I forgot. I keep forgetting her name right now. What's the actress, bro? Right here. Um, but yes, uh, Del Toro almost. I, I almost cried. I, my, my eyes were watery, but I just like hold it in, hold it in. But um, I was cheering for the creature, uh, Michael Shannon. I love to hate him. The bad guy. I love hating him. He was such a dick. And uh, Olivia, uh, the the act the actress Olivia. Oh my gosh, her like. She, you, like, you wanted her to be for your best friend and to have your back, in my opinion. Holy shit. Um, here, let's go to the light here. Let's chill here. Okay. Hey, light. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, Del Toro, I had just seen Pan's Labyrinth, so that's what I was expecting. And, uh, mixed with The Creature of the Black Lagoon, which I love that film. And I know Del Toro's a big Universal Monster uh, geek. Uh, but yes, uh, Richard, damn, I'm blanking on these actors' name right now, but, um, the, 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 the man who played, uh, 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 Lila's best friend, her neighbor, he was amazing, uh, Richard, I know his name is something from Richard, he was in Step Brothers, uh, he was amazing, when, uh, stuff wasn't working out for him, it was sad, but when stuff, uh, maybe turned around for him, it was, uh, you were, you know, you were happy, you were cheering, um, this movie, it was true to the, 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 the world at that time. The production design was so beautiful. There are moments that were like, what the fuck? How can you say that? How can you think that way? And um, as, as much as I was mad at some parts that, you know, it happened during that era, you could tell that, that the tour was like, we have to be true to it. That's how people were. That's how bad it was. And the, the mindset and the, the Cold War espionage feel and uh, people... Thinking a certain way, being default, uh, it was it was it was tragical. But at the same time, Lila, I think that's her name. God, I'm, I'm freaking out on the, the actress's name, but she was amazing. She was amazing, and, and uh, Doug Jones. I mean, uh, I want like a, a, a toy figure of the creature, and I want to like I want to get the 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 music for this film was so touching when you felt the the villain's presence, the antagonist. You felt it, and it was very 40s, 50s. Universal Hollywood Prime uh, music feel to me. Um, I and I'm not just saying it, but this is one of the best films of the year. One of my favorite films, top three probably. I put it up there because my my two favorite ones so far of the year, or my three favorite ones, are Logan, Baby Driver, and Blade Runner 2049. Not in that exact order. I have to think about it. But um, Shape of Water goes in up there, and uh, <laughs> uh, it was. Oh, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. And not to pick on anyone, but I'm just saying, like, I, I can see. I can hear. I was, I'm so, I was, This film made me so glad. I had the same feeling for Blade Runner 24-9. That I could see the imagery. I could see the actors' performance. And I could hear them. And, uh... It was, just, uh, it was enchanting. It was enchanting. Um, I don't want to... I don't want to pick bones of this is Del Toro's best film. It might be... I have to think about it because I just saw Pan's Labyrinth and I was just, like, blown away by that. 
but um, it's up there, and at least for the, the you know categories of the years, bet one of the best films of the year. Uh, I hope this this film gets Del Toro and his team back to the Oscars. Okay, I'm gonna add more stuff. Uh, there was unexpected stuff, um, and in a good way. It didn't bother me at all. If anything, I was like, wow, I never seen this like handled in a fairy tale way. And uh, uh, I get what why Del Toro did some of the unexpected stuff that I didn't think was gonna happen. And um, that ending was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. Oh my God! I don't want to spoil the ending, but God, oh man. Uh, there was also the, the actor who played a, a, a doctor who you have to keep your eye out for. Um, he was a, doing a phenomenal job, and he had a, a he was in a in a tug of war of what he was supposed to do, what he was doing, and what he wanted to do, which I thought was was amazing. And uh, I'm blanking the names, but hopefully right now I'll uh, credit them with their names because I got I got to credit them their, their their names. All right, I remember now. Sally Hawkins as Elisa Esposito. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with her. Uh, Michael Shannon as Strickland, uh, the head of security for uh, the Amphibian Man. Richard Jenkins as Giles. I thought he was just going to be a specific thing, a character, which would have been fine. But there was more layers to his character, and I appreciated that. And I was happy to travel into that that uh, um, that journey that the character had. Octavia Spencer as Zelda. She had Alyssa's back the whole time, and Alyssa had her back the whole time, and... Uh, I like their gossip talks at one point. I won't tell you what they gossiped about, but every time they talked, the chemistry was it was pure gold. Uh, Michael Stolberg, who played Mr. Robert Hofstetler, Hofstetler. Um, Bob, Doug Jones, Amphibian Man. Um, uh, I'm going to tweet at, at Mr. Del Toro and see if they're going to release a statue or an action figure of the Amphibian Man with Elisa Esposito. Uh, just a, a combo that I'm be willing to buy. I wanted to be. I felt the the way Doug Jones played him was so vulnerable yet strong, yet uh curious, yet he was always willing to explore stuff. And if he felt something was wrong, he would act on it. And if he felt there was a comfort in the area, he would. You could sense that that the the amphibian man was uh relaxed and well. And uh, I hope. Their statues or action figures that will be able to be uh, acquired and get some. So that's the cast and uh, bravo, bravo. I want I want a lot of Oscars for these people. I want a lot of Oscars. Now back. Hopefully that does the job. And uh, hope you guys like the review. Hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. Post any comments down below. Uh, if you guys saw it, uh, let me know what you think of it. If you haven't seen it, go see it. And um, I might do a spoiler one. So. See you guys.